Okay, we're going to talk about the de-ice boot system on this aircraft. Up here on the first column or the A column of the overhead panel, we have the de-ice boot system. A lot of things you see up here. You see some green lights. You see some black push buttons. You see a de-ice over temp light, a timer light. You see an air supply switch, the boot indicator switch, and the auto cycling switch. We'll talk about each one of those. Boots themselves need to be used when we're in icing conditions. When there's accumulation on the boots, the best way to see if you have ice accumulation on the boots is look out your window, look back, you see a, line, a thin white strip of ice along the leading edge of your boots, you're in icing. Another good indicator would be the windshield wipers. Windshield wipers start picking up ice. If there's ice picking up on the windows, it's probably picking up on the boots. Time to turn on your boots. Normally, with the boots, according to the manuals, uh, below five degrees Celsius, you're gonna want those turn, turn those on. You're also gonna wanna turn them on uh, if you don't know if you're in icing conditions. One, one way that you might not know would be if you are at night and your wing inspection lights are inoperative. Now, we're gonna talk about each one of these switches. What they do First one, obviously, is the auto cycling switch. We have continuous and we have one cycle. I didn't get that. Now, the Why'd way the try? boots work, the way the boots work is each station will inflate in either continuous or one cycle for six seconds. We know that it's inflated because the green light comes on on the over panel, telling us that it is inflated. Each station inflates for six seconds. The stabilizer gets hit twice. So depending upon the mod of the aircraft, that will determine the order in which they inflate. Stab, in, out, stab, stab, out, in, stab, stab, in, stab, out. Either way, they get hit four times and the stab gets hit twice. Now in continuous, the stab will inflate, the order 24 seconds, six seconds per station, they'll inflate, and then they'll remain dormant for 156 seconds before the cycle starts all over again. At which point, stab in, out, step. 24 seconds, 150 seconds dormant. In one cycle, it just goes through literally one cycle of the boots. 24 seconds of inflation, it's done. Now the third way that I can inflate boots if I see a need to, or uh, if what I'm doing in continuous isn't doing it fast enough, is I can manually inflate the boots. These are push buttons. You can hear that. The boot at that station will inflate for as long as I hold that button in. The green light will illuminate. It will stay illuminated until I release that button. Now, there's possibility there could be a malfunction of this system. If for some reason, the cycling of the boots has a problem. It could be something as simple as they aren't inflating fast enough. It could be something as simple as one station stays inflated, isn't fully deflated before the next station starts to inflate. We will get a timer light. A timer light simply means there's a malfunction with the boot system. There is a QRH for that. We will follow the QRH and we will try and correct the malfunction. Most likely it will have us leave icing conditions. Now, hot air goes to those boots. If the air going to those boots is too hot, we will get a de-ice over template. De-ice over template will be coupled with a QRH. It's a yellow light. There's no memory item. We'll follow the QRH and most likely it's going to have us turn off the air supply. Great 80s band. Did a lot of slow dance into them, but uh, only the old people understand that. Now, this is the dumbest switch on the airplane. This is the boot indicator switch. This controls whether or not these green lights here illuminate. There is no reason to ever turn that light on, light off. Saab designed it because for some reason their engineers believed that these green lights illuminated above the captain's head every three minutes might somehow provide a distraction. I don't believe that's distracting. So therefore, always leave that switch in the on position. In a nutshell, that's the boots. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. 
uh, in the comment section and uh, I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.